This is Sri Lakshmi from Informatica Technical Support and here we are going to discuss about one of the main components of data transformation which is mapper. The other main components are parser, serializer and streamer. Parser is used to convert a text file to XML. Serializer is used to convert an XML to a text file. Streamer is used to split the input file into chunks and process it chunk by chunk. Mapper is basically used to convert an XML from one format to another format. In order to create a mapper, we need XSD for the input file as well as the output file. XSD file is used to make the DT understand the structure of the XML files. Using the XSD files that we provide to DT, it will create an XPath. XPath can be used to map the elements as it will contain the hierarchical structure of the source XSD as well as the target XSD. Let's see how a mapper work. This is a sample mapper project. Here purchase order is a source XSD and purchase details is a target XSD. The XSD files can be added by right clicking on XSD and use the option add file. If you want to create an XSD in the data transformation project, we can select the option new and select XSD. So in the mapper project, we have to select the root element as the source locator and target locator. DT engine will use root element as a reference to search for the child elements, which we map from the source to target. Map is the anchor that we use to map between the source and target XSDs. When we double click on the source XSD, it will open XPath. The XPath will have the hierarchical structure of the elements in the source as well as target. Here purchase order is a root element for the source and purchase details is a root element for target. So in purchase details, there are few elements which are present in the source like date, customer name, zip code, product name, quantity, price and ship date. So we have to select the date from the source XSD first. This is the order date. Next, we have to select the date field from the target XSD. Similarly, we have to do map for the elements in the source and target for the other elements. We can save and run the project now. Input file can be provided here. We can double click and browse for the input file. Here purchase order is the input file. To create the source XML, sorry output XML. This is the output XML. It has the date and name fields as per the source XML. It is a different, it has a different structure than the source. This is how a mapper works. Uh, please let us know if you have any concerns or queries regarding this uh, video KB. We will help you out. Thank you.